Well, welcome back to The Pathway as we enter a new year. We're talking about entering the wilderness. This book, the book of Numbers, is known in Hebrew as in the wilderness because those are the first three words in Hebrew. It talks about how God speaks to us, provides for us, and works in wilderness. In fact, the first verse says, Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai. Imagine you're a group of, of Israelites and you've just come out of Egypt, luscious green Nile River Egypt with melons and garlic, and God brings you to barren, wasteland, mountainous, no green, no water, and says, I want to plant you here, and I want to teach you how to depend on me, how to find purpose, how to worship me in wilderness. There's a reoccurring phrase used throughout chapters 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can look for it. Moses does it. Aaron does it. The people do it. It says they obeyed everything God commanded them to do. Here's one example. It comes out of uh, verse 54. Thus the children of, of God did according to all the Lord commanded Moses, so they did. The secret to life is centering ourselves on God, hearing him speak to us in wilderness, hearing his instructions about temptation or testing or preparation, and saying, I'm going to trust that God knows better than me. And because I trust him, I'm going to do according to his commandments. I want to pray for this year that you will experience God in the midst of your wildernesses as he's preparing you for the promised land before you. Let's pray. God, thank you for your promise that you never leave us or forsake us, that you made a way for people to find you and worship you and for heaven and earth to come together here on earth. And Father, I ask for each person listening today that they will find you to be their strength and their courage and their grace. And we ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. See you all next week. Imagine if they have another white belt. Yeah, he can reference it in post.